about five minutes to get these clothes. Stop raining. What's up, my what's up, my side for game? Um, not a, I don't know who I don't know who wish one, but we feel good today. You know, it's been another day. You know, I, I feel I'm I'm blessed, you know. I don't need to have everything to feel blessed because I'm alive, you know. Um as I'm going, I'm just going to switch my clothes and stuff because who who washes clothes on a rainy day? But you know, you know, I'm just getting myself together and doing things, but I just want to say thank y'all for, uh, hold on, I gotta, hold on, hold on, hold on. A few moments later. I had to switch these clothes real quick, so y'all, give me a second. But, yeah, man, I just did, uh, yeah, I'm getting my washing done and stuff on a Sunday. I went to church today. I felt good on what the bishop said and the preacher said, you know, he was just talking about everything. Like, God is always talking to us. God is always talking to us in so many ways, but as humans, we're stupid, not saying ignorancy, but foolish. We're foolish to the point that we don't listen. Like, in the beginning, the bishop told us, you know, how, you know, Adam and Eve, how they sinned in the beginning, how they were, Adam was the first human that God created in, in form. So, you know, God wasn't pissed. God, God does not like sin, okay? And this is what he said. God was, God is slow to anger, but the reasoning of why he was, God, it's disobeying him. God told Adam and Eve, you got all these trees out here. Basically, you got all these washes out here, right? I go to washer number three. And you could go any other washer besides washer number three. He went to washer number three and Adam did it as well. The, ser the serpent which got kicked out of heaven because his pride got to him in his heart and he wanted to be like God and have power over everything and reign over everything. Listen, I love God and you know, today as I went into church, it really stood out to me because like, that is true. God did not like disobedience. He told Adam and Eve, do not eat that tree. Do not go to washer three and then went to washer three. And every time that I want to read, like I said, I've been reading and I want to go back to Psalms because you know, he was talking about Peter. He was talking about David, how, you know, how he never lost a battle when God has helped him and, and led him to take all these victories. And his pride got to him. He, uh, he, he sinned on adultery, not by actions, but by his words. And, you know, it stood out to me because on an everyday basis that we wake up, a lot of people take their life for granted. And in a way, like we're young, we don't know everything. We're not supposed to, but at the end of the day, flee from sin, you know? And Jesus, we accept him as our Lord and Savior. You know, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not going to lie. In times that, you know, I do things because I take things for granted. But things are getting serious nowadays, you know. Like, I really want to get my life together. And it's all about acknowledging your mistakes and understanding the scriptures more than anything to help you know on this everyday basis to fight in this world. We're not supposed to learn everything in this world. What is it to learn? Like, I was trying to work hard and trying to get people down here to him. I don't want to serve him. And that goes for music activities, that goes for shows you watch, that goes for everything that you watch and everything you're not supposed to. And the bishop, he he told any, he said, God has told me I want to pray to certain men. He said, men that's ages from 19 and 30, 19 through 33, come up. I'm 22, so you already know I'm gonna go up. And I'm part of the Joseph Project. I wanna be a servant to God any way possible. I wanna serve Jesus Christ. I want that golden crown, you know? I want to be obedient towards him. I don't want to be disobedient, you know? I want to get the scriptures in my head to the point where I understand them. And it's like, I'm young. I don't know everything, but I do want to know that wisdom, you know? It's all about it. It's all about it, you know? And it's like, yeah, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Y'all gonna see me with turn next? There's some cameras in here. <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed to be part that I want to be called. All are called, but a few are chosen. Jesus came down here and made that narrow way for us. It never was going to be easy. It never was going to. Serving God, it, that's what makes serving Jesus Christ, serving God, serving his beloved son, the one that created everything, that's what makes it so special. That's what makes it so worth going for. God never said it was going to be easy, but he's never left us. He's never left us. I take it as every day that I get up, there's a purpose that he has for me. There's a purpose of things that he wants to show for me. So it's like, 
one day, one of these videos, I have a lot of scriptures wrote down. And um, I'm going to, hold on, my mom calling me. Give me give me a second. My bad, I had to answer. But like, I, I gotta get these calls. So I'm gonna talk to y'all about getting these calls. But as I said before, man, like, I, every day, like, even times that, even sometimes when you don't feel the need or have anything to say, just say, God, I love you. Say, Jesus Christ, I love you. Like, as we waking up every day, I feel like God has unfinished business. If God wants me, if God needs me or wants me to do anything that he wants, do it, you know? Like, he's the almighty. I don't care what anybody said. It's going to be false. Jesus said it's going to be false prophecies. It's going to be false people that say under his name. I don't care. That is the one, the creator of all. The one that created the earth. Yes, there was once darkness in the beginning in the void, but God, his spirit has formed and the light could not overcome it. And you know, I, I I want I want to be I, it's just a, I, saying, I want to be used as a as a as a, a faithful servant. I want to obey God, you know. And it's like I want to do the things He needs me to do. I feel like it's time. Like I feel like you know. And everybody makes mistakes. God knows us before we even make it. He's our, he's our creator. He already knew before five, five, 10, 15, 20, 20 steps ahead. We don't know God. God is behind our comprehension, but that word we can get to know. So it's like, eh, I want to use it. You know, I want to use it. I, I want God to use me any shape form he wants me to do. So, you know, I love him. Cause he wakes me up, he gives me the strength, he gives me the courage. Any type of day, you know, I love him. God is love, God is slow to anger, God has patience, God is everything. And it's like, I was watching this video, right? And um, I'm on two videos. There was a video that I watched a couple months back that uh, there was a lady and her friend that was working at night and she was really, she was working at night and she was mocking. And a mysterious voice, which is God, told her, you know, move and her friend was like i'll take over go do something 15 seconds later her friend got shot through the window and um this other story that i watched she this guy had a spiritual encounter he was on the highway and his fuel tank was going like this so gas was spilling out on the highway he saw lights on the rear view that came and this guy came he told him what happened right he took him to the shop and he fixed his fuel tank and he filled he 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 filled his pump up. He was like, how much do I owe you? He said, nothing. This is why I'm here. This is what I'm here for. He came back to the coffee shop and asked. He said, do you know this guy at this shop? He said, this, that shop's been closed for weeks. That is a to encounter, man. Don't, God always, God always tests people. And it's like, yes, there are demons in real life. Yes, but as the bishop said, you, if you open that door, you're going to allow them in. Just like if your, your, your mom or your grandma says, close that door and let the mosquitoes in. Don't let them in, man. Don't let them in. I just, I just want to be able to talk and if I'm able to change or be able to, you know, get to certain people that don't even read the Bible, influence people to read and get to know the word, man. That's what I'm here for. If y'all want, if, if God wants me to be a pastor, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to spread the word. I'm here to influence people to read and change and repent, you know, because I'm still going through it. I'm still trying to repent. I'm still trying to get right. I'm still trying to flee from sin, you know? You know, we're all, we're not perfect. We're not meant to be perfect. We know we're not worthy, but if Jesus pick you up and tell you, pick up his cross and follow him, he will save you. He will cleanse you, man. Do it. Do it. Do it. I feel hot talking about that, talking about God. I got that fire, boy. But um, I love y'all. I'm about to get myself get these clothes because I obviously got I got some work to do. It's gonna be so difficult, but I have to go get my team. I gotta go get I gotta get my sheets. So I'll be back. I gotta get my sheets. I'm not out the woods yet. Of course, I forgot my freaking sheets, but you know. You're not supposed to lean in our own understandings, yes. You can be a man of God, but don't lean into your own understandings. Do not lean because our hearts are deceiving and our minds. It's a, we gotta transfigure, you know, that word, that word. I'm not afraid to talk about the gospel. I'm not afraid. That's why I've been talking about it more because I want to, I want to enhance my mind. I want to change and think differently. It's starting to pick up. Why is this rain starting to pick up? But I gotta, uh, I'm not afraid to talk about God because God provides for me, even though that I don't, I don't mean to sin, but he still provides for me. He still does everything in his will. But before you want something, ask if this is allowed because this is his universe. I forgot this is his world. He created this. So 
Ask your creator, he'll give it to you. You got the snuggles. Is this snuggles? No! Whatever, this smell good. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Thank y'all for the support. My, I'm not a sack runner no more, man. I can't got the, I ain't got the seven out for this. I'm getting old. But um, yeah, just ask and you shall receive. But it's not a one way street. God is always there with us. But as us humans, as we're foolish, and some people, including myself, like I said, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I even lean to my own understanding, but we're not supposed to. You gotta learn that word. That word, you can study the Bible, you read it more, you uh, understand that you don't wanna be part of this world. You're gonna get people that- People that don't like you. You're gonna get people that you're gonna feel like an outcast. You don't belong to be the same as everybody in this world because if you think about it, let's be real, like, if y'all look on Instagram, all these women out here, like I'm saying man as well, all these horny men out here, all these horny women that's posting their bodies, their bikinis and they all they just, obviously it says it, that's for your men and anything, because you're selling your body to the public. All these OnlyFans and these bikinis, all these women out here half naked and all this other stuff, let them do them, don't feed into it, you know? Like, I'm not the most perfect person. I have I have issues as well, but as I always said, as long as you acknowledge and fix that and flee from sin, talk to God, have a genuine relationship with Jesus Christ, do it, man, do it, because the end times is here, and I don't wanna be part of that. I don't wanna be part of the wrath. Listen, the last thing I want is to be on God's bad side. I'm sorry, when them trumpets blow, that is real, that is when everything happens. Every, if you are not into that book, if your name is not in the book, you are gonna get thrown into the pit of fire. So, I love y'all. This has been your boy two times. Make sure y'all join the family by subscribing and we out, peace.